Hi Cancer, welcome back to your March You Versus Them reading and let's go ahead and get started and see what the shared energy is between you and whoever the person you are dealing with uh, for the month of March, okay? So the overall energy here to get us started is a complexity. So this is um, talking about, you know, a little bit of like a puzzling, confusing energy, Cancer. Um, it's, it's complicated, you know, to say the very least. <laughs> there could be some contradictions or um, misinformation or misunderstandings during this time frame, especially during the retrograde, which is like the first nine uh, or ten days of March. So you might want to be really cautious about your communication during that time period. Um, this is... A curious energy though and it's educational it's meant to transform right so um, let's see what your supporting energy is cancer and then we'll go into the person that you're dealing with and see what theirs is and for those of you who are new to me um, for you versus them I'll go back and forth between you and the person you're dealing with we'll go into past energy uh, how you see each other, your perception, and then the future energy, okay? This could be uh, for someone intimate or platonic, and because it's general, the messages can be flipped, okay? Particularly if you're cross-watching. So, let's go into it, shall we? Cancer, your overall energy whoops, is uh, departure. Okay, so this is talking about walking away from what um, no longer serves you during this time period, knowing when to walk away, knowing when to let bygones be bygones, um, knowing when enough is enough is all going to be highlighted during the March time period. Person you're dealing with has the five of cups, which talks about sadness, um, depression for, for some of you, the person you might be dealing with might be going through that. For others of you, this is just talking about Having trouble, like this person may be having trouble focusing on um, what they have as opposed to what they, you know, don't have. You know what I'm saying? Like they're focused on to issues of the past or emotions that don't serve them. Um, you know, not really tapping into their higher energy. Okay. So let's see and go a little bit further into it. And uh, get a little bit more info here for you, Cancer. Okay. So, recent past energy for the sign of Cancer. This is the Seven of Cups here. Four of Pentacles. Justice, oh wow, the tower was hiding under justice. And then the Ace of Cups. So, Cancer, a lot going on in the recent past, huh? This is talking about um, not really wanting to budge, not wanting to really let go. Sorry, there's a bit of nudity in these. Um, but you're not even really sure what you're holding on for. <clears throat> Excuse me. All of a sudden, my throat got blocked. Um... Some of you may have been having trouble communicating what you really wanted. Um, you know, holding it's like being fixed in your position, but not really sure what what you're waiting for, or what you're holding out for, you know. Um, I think that for a lot of you, uh, you may have had a tower moment in the recent past where the energy just kind of swept in and swept away everything that wasn't serving you anymore, and that can look like a lot of different things. Um, but it brought balance to the situation and a renewed sense of love for yourself, for your health, um, for some of you new love, uh, period. But I think, you know, whatever you really, really didn't want to let go of, whatever that feeling or construct was for you, Cancer, I feel like in the recent past, some of you, this may be coming into the present energy, that's all going to be um, taken out of your hands, so to speak, meaning like, you might come against blockages that you have no control over or encounter people or this person that you might be dealing with and feel like you have you are powerless in the situation and the control is being purposely taken from you cancer so that you see what's right for you and what's not right for you so that you relinquish the idea of control so that you can bring in more balanced 
energy, more balanced uh, relationship dynamics into your life, okay? So that's a pretty strong message there. <clears throat> now, person you're dealing with, what is their recent uh, past energy person cancer is dealing with? Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> This person has the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. So there's a lot of heaviness in whoever you're dealing with, okay? Whether they acknowledge that to you or not, whether they acknowledge that to themselves or not. They, they do carry around a lot of burdens from the past, I feel, um, and they cover it up. You know, I think that they don't necessarily let on. Um, everything that they're dealing with or everything that they're going through. Um, I think this person is trying to, or in the recent past, has tried to plant seeds uh, in their life and they've not really seen any fruition from it because it was built on faulty ground. You know, you can't grow seeds in sand. <laughs> you know, this person's in quicksand. You got to have a, fa a firm, solid uh, ground to plant in and because this person has yet to uh, reveal what they're really feeling or going through or because they cannot be honest with themselves uh, or honest with others, they are kind of planting their seeds in vain almost. You know what I'm saying? And that's tough energy. That's a tough message to hear, especially if you are the cross watcher. But um, I just feel like you know, there has to be a level of honesty within this dynamic uh, or any dynamic in your life for it to work. If there is uh, a lack of clarity, if there's a lack of truth, then you keep kind of running into the same blockages, same walls, uh, because you're not seeing the truth of the situation and that causes a very complex dynamic. How do you view this person, Cancer, and perception, please? Whoa, man, that card flew out. How do you view this person, Cancer? Four of Swords, Knave of Pentacles. Now, it's you had the Knave of Pentacles over here, but in this deck, it is a totally different meaning than traditional tarot, and I'll show you the card in a moment, and then the Hermit. So this is how you view them, Cancer. So the Knave of Pentacles in this deck is talking about wearing a mask, uh, wanting to feed someone lies or get them to lower their defenses, but with not with ill intention, you know, so, hmm. I feel like you kind of view this person as someone who always wants to keep what they have going on on the hush hush. And it's not like it's a bad thing to be private, okay? So, you know, it, it's not wise either to go out there and just blast your business to the world. But at the same time, this person takes it to the extreme where they also have trouble being honest with themselves, you know? And they may isolate a lot. They may keep a lot to themselves. You view them as kind of doing that behavior, okay, or kind of like behind the scenes, you know, um, hiding their depression for some of, for some of them, because I did feel that on this person's side, and trying to cover that up. Some of them try to cover it up with substances, or um, they just cover it up with whatever, you know, a happy face. I don't know. We all have different masks that we wear in life. Um, but I definitely feel that you see, you see that in this person here. Some of you want this person to be a little bit more vulnerable. Again, it goes back to opening up, right? So, how does this person view you? The world, the star. Is 
The Six of Pentacles. Okay? So, Cancer, this is how they view you. They view you as overcoming things that they have yet to overcome. That you are uh, more healed than they are. Um, and for some reason, even though I don't have compare contrast cards out, I do feel like this person compares their growth to your growth. And that could be very dangerous territory, right? I think this person sees you as um, someone who wants equal give and take in their life, who can be very generous, can have a very healing energy about you, that likes to be, I guess, someone who comes out on top, you know. Some of them view you as being a star, you know, or maybe to them you're a star, you know, and they kind of, it's a very admirable way to view someone. I don't have anything negative to say. I don't think this person views you negative in any way, at least in the present moment. This is a snapshot. So I think that they've seen you overcome things that you needed to overcome and they're inspired by you. Well, that's awesome. And let me tell you, in the tarot world, I don't get that message too often. So yay. <laughs> Good for you, Cancer. All right, so <laughs> uh, what's the uh, most likely future outcome for March? All right, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Hierophant, the Eight of Cups. There's that walking away. There's that walking away I felt at the very beginning of the reading. This is the Eight of Cups here. Oops, sorry, here. This is also the Eight of Cups. That was your overall energy. Same card, different deck. So I feel like cancer, you know, you, you want cooperation, you want, um, I think that you really want to do the right thing and it may be really hard for you to distance yourself from this person at times, like, because I think that you, you naturally want to either take care or for some of you commit and this may be in regards to a commitment but at the same time there's issues here that make you feel like you want to distance yourself from this, this person or walk away from them or some of you will literally and that will really put this person in a certain kind of mood but for others of you it's just you know, trying to emotionally distance yourself so that you can, I guess, get your thoughts together uh, and decide on what your next course of action is and um, if you need to walk away or not. Let's say the cups. Yeah. Because what you're looking for is solid foundations, things you can build on. You know, you want the Ten of Pentacles, which is like complete... Um, stability within your home within your family within your relationships and you are committed to that but at the same time you will walk away if you need to walk away okay and i feel that energy here like don't get it twisted you know um yeah all right, so person you're dealing with, what's their future energy? The moon. Mm -hmm. Seven of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. So I feel like Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck there. You had the Queen of Swords over here probably have a lot of past history with this person this is definitely not someone new okay um i feel like this person still has some suppressed emotions that they're dealing with even as it goes through march but i feel like there is a spark of passion here this person really is trying to um heal the way that you have healed and you may have inspired this person to heal without even knowing it you know, just by being yourself 
or just by simply going through this situation with this person has pushed their soul to heal some things that they really need to acknowledge and i think it's more of like emotional issues that are yet to be addressed that are coming to the surface that are being brought to light now they're not to the star yet they're at the moon so they haven't fully healed it but they're starting to acknowledge that within them and with the seven of pentacles here i think it's going to take time you know this person um, is making better investments and in where they place their energy. Um, but it's still a very, to me, seven of pentacles is kind of a waiting energy. So it's not without movement, but it's not going to happen overnight, you know? So what is the moon? It's almost like, Nine of Swords in the reverse, Six of Swords. Yeah, this person is letting go of fears and anxieties during this time frame, and their intuition might really be heightened. Like, they might really be feeling a certain way, but not really know where it's coming from. You know, because again, I think this person's suppressed for so long that they don't even know the depth of their own emotion. And so it may... Um, surface but in a way it breaks the cycle okay and it allows this person to get out of their own head and move forward and feel inspired again and what are they feeling inspired about It's just one card. <laughs> Three of Cups. Some of them want a reconciliation here. Okay, most definitely. For others of you, the Three of Cups can be, um, you know, them trying to find inspiration within their social group by viewing other people, by, and that's kind of dangerous territory again, because here they are comparing and contrasting or looking outside of themselves to get inspiration. The inspiration is within this person and they can't see it. And I feel frustrated with your person, actually. Um, they need to stop looking outside of themselves for other people to inspire them, for you to inspire them. It's almost codependent. Like, this person may be stuck in the uh, idea, whether they're conscious or sub, you know, whether they're conscious of it or not, that happiness is to be found in a relationship. Happiness is to be found in other people. Other people are responsible for making them feel better. Not realizing that the, that's a false reality. Only they can do that. So... It's like they're facing their fears, they're moving forward, but they're about to repeat a past um, cycle again, you know, still still looking outside of themselves um, for what they need to find within their own soul. So I feel like that's why you've taken your stance over here, right, of... Uh, you know, somewhat like it's it's not that you don't want to be helpful or cooperative. It's just that you have your limits, you know, and you have learned when it's best to just leave it alone, walk away, let them process it. And I think that is the best thing to do, because I think, you know, if you feed into this person's delusion that, you know, someone else is responsible for making it okay for them, making that feel all right, then you're going to get caught into that as well. So, that was a very intense reading, Cancer. <laughs> um, one I did not expect, actually. So, let me tell you the zodiac signs I have out here. Uh, Scorpio, Libra. Virgo, Taurus, Aquarius, 
Libra, if I already said that. Could be Gemini. Pisces. So those are the predominant zodiac signs I have out, but keep in mind that it can be any zodiac sign because it's a general reading. Um, so take it as it resonates and um, let me know how it resonated, please. If you will, give me a like, share, and subscribe. It's free. Also, if you click on the link below, it'll open the description box. You can uh, find my Facebook, my Instagram, and my other YouTube. I don't do tarot on my other YouTube. I just kind of like talk about the energy I'm feeling or whatever's going on in my life. It's kind of random. But if you're interested, you can click all those links down below. And in addition to being able to subscribe for free, and please do, you can now also become a private member by clicking on the blue join button. So um, check that out for a minimal, nominal, not, blah, 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 I can't talk, for a nominal monthly fee. You can get additional videos that you can't get anywhere else. So check it out. Also check out my merchandise. Loving you so much. Till next time. Namaste. Bye.